I would also like to ask Mr. Uh, our next speaker, um, Steve, if you could maybe elaborate also, uh, Mr. Winkleman. Thank you. I think regarding one, smart growth, I mean, because it's it's something that's very timely. In fact, the California State Legislature is proposing giving out special funding for targeted communities who integrate the transit villages and smart growth. And I just want to get your reaction to that. If what what other states are doing that? I mean, I know I think Oregon is, uh, Oregon has, and others that are innovative. But what what can we do to help incentivize some of our our states? Thank you. Well, actually, a couple months ago, I testified to the California Air Resources Board on this set of issues. They come to the same set of conclusions as I lay out in my graphs that basically you can't get here, can't get there from here without dealing with vehicle miles traveled. And one of the points, going to your last question to David, in terms of local zoning, gov local governments need tools to change zoning. They may have one person in a zoning office who needs model code, who needs some help to do things that people want, and to engage the community to understand this. If we really want to do this, we need to provide the right tools and resources. And so there's a host of uh, policy measures that can help, ranging from local, state, and regional. California has these blueprint planning grants focusing on, uh, starting from the Sacramento region's planning efforts, but where a community does a visioning process and says, how can our community grow? And what will that mean for things that people care about? Congestion, air quality, how much they spend on fuel. And one of the interesting things, if we look at costs and how the federal government will spend money on climate change, I calculate for the Sacramento region, negative $200 per ton CO2 from their smart growth policies. This compares negative cost means that it's a net savings for a society. Reduce infrastructure costs, reduce costs. Mm -hmm. If you look at carbon capture and storage, $30 a ton, ethanol, $200 a ton. So if we ask the climate question for new things that we build or plan and say, what does that do to emissions, we'll get very far and find common sense solutions that actually can reduce um, costs.